What's up everybody? Today we're gonna be doing another Filipino food video but it's gonna be different to the others because we're gonna be making a dessert in today's video. We've never done a dessert before and the dessert that we're doing is called ube halaya and in English I think it's called purple yam jam. You're gonna see the appearance of this thing. Um, yeah, it's completely different to any dessert we've ever seen before if we cook it properly. So we don't have any of the ingredients right now. So we're just about to go to the market here in El Nido, do our weekly shopping and also get the ingredients for the dessert. El Nido market, back again. Yeah, so normally I just buy from this one, a lot of the stuff. This place always has really nice okra. Get some eggplant. You want this as well? I've also got some peppers here. Maybe get two of these. Should we get two? Yeah. Yep. get the tofua, the tofu from here. I usually get about four or five packs. We eat this all the time, so I think they only have three packs actually. So now we're just looking for the main ingredient, the ube, purple yam. I think they had it over here, down here. So here is the, the ube. This is huge. <laughs> Look at that big big root so now we get in the fresh coconut milk Last time everybody told us to not get in the can, yeah. right? Yeah. Yes. I didn't know we could get it here. Yeah, I didn't know either. So, super pressure. So we are now in the kitchen, just gonna go through all the ingredients. We have the ube here. We think this is about a kilo, right? Yeah. And we only need about half of that from the... I just use half. I think one kilo is too much. Yeah, what's the site that you get in the recipe from? Uh, we usually search on this site for recipes. It's Panglasang. Pinoy. Pinoy, yeah. Pan Lasan Pinoy. A lot of the meals that we cooked is from that website, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so we got that. How much was that again? 57 pesos for the whole thing. Yeah, for the whole thing. So we're only going to use half though. Then we got this cheddar cheese, which was 97 pesos. Over here we got the fresh coconut milk. How much was that? Uh, 50 pesos. 50 pesos. We already had this butter, so I'm not sure how much that cost. Sweeten condensed creamer, 37. And then we're not sure if we're gonna use this. This is basically like artificial coloring for the ube that was 90. But if it's not a nice purple color, we'll use that 
probably not very healthy, right? Mm, no, but well, it will make you look better. <laughs> yeah. Mm. And then also apparently you eat this with uh, bread, so yeah, we just got a few pieces of bread here. Got another two pieces in there. How much was all this bread? Uh, 20 pesos. 20 pesos. Yeah. We read that you can eat like a dessert or also put like a... a spread. Bread on the bread, so we're gonna try both both ways. Where do we start now? <laughs> uh, we need to boil the... the Ube? Yeah. Yes, um, and then match it. So we're gonna start with that. Yeah, so here you can see how it's uh, purple, so that's why it's called purple yam. Pretty interesting. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't think I've ever seen this in any other country so far. I don't remember seeing this in America or Brazil. Have you yeah. seen this in Brazil? No, in Brazil we have the white one, but and the not... orange one, right? Yeah, the but not potato. purple one. It's yeah, super unusual. <laughs> yeah, it's something new for us. Yeah, so let's boil it, right? Uh -huh. So is it ready now? Yeah, I think so. I think it's a, the right point to, to put on the blender and to create it. It's probably been here like 20-30 minutes, right? Yeah. It does take quite a while. You can see all the water is purple, browny color now. <laughs> So we're just slicing it up a bit as well, so the majority of it we're gonna put in the blender and then we're also gonna grate some of it just for a bit of texture, right? Yeah. And that's what the recipe showed. all gooey right yeah I like the color oh yeah the color is awesome yeah. it's like a lavender color mm -hmm. so now we're gonna start boiling the other ingredients and then a mix with the, the ube the first one is the coconut milk the fresh coconut milk that we bought today at the, the market the recipe says two cups I think it has around two cups here. It looks like it. Yeah, I think just use it all. Yeah, just put everything. Alright, there we go. And then we're gonna mix that with the rest of this, right? The condensed milk? Uh, we have to Condem boil. Oh, we have to boil that yeah, first. Yeah, boil and once it's boiling we put the condensed milk. Okay. So after mixing it with the condensed milk and the coconut milk, it is a bit lighter now, so I think we are just gonna add one teaspoon of the coloring, and I think it'll make the color darker like you see in the pictures. Yeah, completely different, right? Yeah. Way darker now. So it's definitely not a quick dessert. We now have to stir it for about 20 to 30 minutes. The recipe says that it's gotta be very thick. So yeah, with the time that it takes to first boil the ube and then the stir and everything, way over an hour, right? Yeah. To make this dessert. So now the 
that it got thicker, we're going to add 3 tablespoons of butter. And then we'll keep um, stirring. stirring for some, a few minutes. There we go. Yeah, it looks nice, right? So it's probably a bit darker than we wanted. It's usually a bit lighter in the photos, right? Yeah. I guess we could have put less of that powder. Yeah, if we knew it before, we would put uh, less powder. Yeah, but still looking good, the texture anyway. The last part is the cheddar, right? Yeah, I think it's not like everybody that puts this, but I think some Filipinos like to put cheese on top and from what I read, it's something good. <laughs> Sounds kind of weird actually, cheddar cheese mm. with this for dessert, but we'll see how it goes. So the time has come for the taste test. Yes. I can really smell the cheddar. <laughs> really strong smell. Got the yeah. breads to taste after as well. Gonna dig in? Yeah, I'll start with just the, the ube. Yeah. With the cheddar? Yes. Okay. Mm, look <laughs> at the... Oh yeah. Texture. Shiny, right? Yeah. Looks like rubber. Mmm, really good. I can't really taste the cheddar. No? Because, no. Because the, the dessert itself has a strong flavor. It's great. And I think the part that I like the most is the coconut milk taste. Oh, you can really taste it? Mm-hmm. Mm, it's great. It does smell great, guys. I wish you could smell this thing. It's got a pretty strong smell to it. You know, it reminds me of a Brazilian dessert. It doesn't look like it. It's totally different, but the taste is similar. It's a, it's a coconut dessert, Beijinho de Coco. That's how I call it in Portuguese. And I think it's just a similar taste because it has coconut milk and condensed, condensed milk. So yeah, it's great. All right, my turn. Mm. I'll try and get a bit of cheddar as well. Scoop that. Yeah, like you said, the the taste of cheddar is just um, just a little hint, right? Yeah, yeah. Mixes really well. I was worried um, when we put the cheddar on and, and the cheddar was so strong, I was thinking maybe that would overpower the taste of the ube, but I can definitely taste a lot of condensed milk, I think. Yeah. Mmm. Nice and sweet, though. Mm hmm I think this would be delicious with uh, chocolate sprinkled on top. Oh, yeah, I wonder maybe. if that's a thing. Mm, I don't know if it's a thing here. <laughs> oh, it's really good, though. Better than I was expecting. Yeah, me too. It's weird that this all comes out of that ube, right? Mm -hmm. The purple yam. Yeah. You want to try it with the spread? Mm-hmm. Yeah, right. since this is a, like a jam, we're going to try with the bread. Some foreigners are probably looking at this and like, <laughs> what is this alien-looking dessert? Yeah, but it's very good, guys. <laughs> Look how that looks. <laughs> that is one unique um, dessert right there. Mm -hmm. Let's see with the bread. Yeah, it has more of a jam taste in mm. the bread. I mean, that's mm. what it is in English, right? Purple yeah. uh, yam jam. That's very good as a spread also. It's almost hard to describe. Yeah, I it's, can't really It's a unique describe. taste. I can't really describe this to you. And another good thing, it's pretty healthy, right? You got like the coconut milk. Yeah. Well, it's... Vegetables, uh, a lot of carbs and... 
Yeah, it has a lot of sugar because of the condensed milk. Yeah. But um, I think I saw some recipes and people were adding uh, white sugar and also condensed milk. So I think... It's already sweet enough though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. For us, this is the, the good way. <laughs> Don't mm. need to put more sugar. Do you want to try this? Yes. No, and we thought it was gonna be little, right? When we saw the amount of yam that we had, but mm -hmm. that's easily enough. You could probably eat that as dessert like three times, mm -hmm. <laughs> three yeah. or four For times. For breakfast tomorrow, we yeah. have this. <laughs> breakfast. And I think we made the the perfect. Uh, I mean, the thickness is like perfect. Or I don't know. I will see what the Filipinos say. Yeah, I mean, it doesn't seem too hard and not too soft, right? Yeah. That's why it's like a jam texture. Mm -hmm. Mm. Yeah, very good. A great jam. Yeah, I yeah. like it. I think our first Filipino dessert is a success, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, <laughs> I like it a lot. Let us know, so do you Filipinos eat this a lot? Is this like a really common food? It seems to be looking on the internet, right? Mm -hmm. And we actually see Filipinos like to put ube in loads of different things like ice cream. Yeah, halo halo. Halo halo, yeah. So they use this for loads of different desserts, this purple color. And it just looks awesome. I mean, look at that. So different. Mm -hmm. Approved. So we're gonna finish up eating this thing. Very nice dessert, like we said. And uh, we were checking other desserts because we'd like to cook other desserts, but I think a lot of them you need an oven. And we don't have an oven here, so that's one of the reasons why we chose this one. But if you Filipinos have any recommendations of any other desserts that we can cook without an oven, yeah, I think we're gonna give it a go. Instead of just cooking like the meals all the time, it would be good to see what the desserts are like. Hopefully they're just as tasty as this one. So if you like the video, just drop a like to support us. Subscribe if you like to see more videos like this from the Philippines. Follow us on Instagram and we'll see you in the next one. Kyle's got a mouthful. Mm-hmm. <laughs>